They want to surprise you guys. They don't want me to say too much about what's about to go down. So there's a married person here that ever since they caught the eye of you, they've been crying. You know who this is? You may know who I'm talking about, some of you, but you two have never dealt with each other yet. Fro chakra blockage confirmation. Visual had to sleep at like a friend's place or they had to go back to the to a family member's place. They could have gone to their mom's place or their dad's. I don't know. But these two are really about to divorce because of y'all. Okay, they kind of have like this goth preppy look to them. So there could even be something here about someone taking the bus for work and you oh, see Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star says I here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is the tea. It's a general read. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in a link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings. Ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read. For my Sagittarians, what messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So Sagittarius, what do we have here? What is the tea? Okay, we have Saturn getting ready to station direct. Okay, the devil on the side, Capricorn. We have number eight on the side, strength card. Okay, on the side, Leo, the sun. And then we have Scorpio, death and judgment. Pluto in transit, really powerful energy. This is a powerhouse of masculine energy. It is very dominant. Okay, this right here is really dominant. So let's see what do we have. The inside scoop. Love on the brain. What's the tea for my Sagittarius? Thank you. Crying over you. Child services. There's a married person here that Ever since they caught the eye of you, they've been crying. <clears throat> they've been crying and suffering. Oh, Sagittarius, you! I feel this person's pain. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and I'm not trying to laugh at that, but it more so like, damn. Like this person saw you somewhere at the grocery. Like it's, I, it's a routine thing. It's either at the church or at the grocery store or at the gym, somewhere that you frequent, the village square. I don't know. I smell a bus, like I smell the inside of like a bus, like the public transportation here in NJ. So there could even be something here about someone taking the bus for work and you see this person there. Uh, this is a married person. I feel like this individual has dark brown hair or light brown hair. Some of you, they could have blonde hair even. Um, I feel like they have tattoos. They could have a spray tan thing going. This individual could be really muscular. If this is a, if this is a man, he could have a beard. But I definitely got something here about tattoos on the, um, the forearm. Also, it could go up to the shoulder. There could be a sleeve thing or it could just be the forearm. Okay. Um, very tribal like tattoos this individual could also have some interesting piercings they could have multiple piercings in their ear their nose could be pierced as well or their lip okay they kind of have like this goth preppy look to them like that's the only way i could describe it this individual is spiritual but this individual they're married they could even have several children with their wife or their husband but damn this could even be a same sex thing where like they're a man married to a woman but you're a man and they're into you they're pining over you or this is a woman married to a woman 
excuse me, this is a woman married to a man, and you're a woman, and they're pining over you, okay? Or it could be a woman married to a woman, but you're a man, and she crossed paths with you, and she's like, damn. And, and you know, like, damn, he's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, Sagittarius, y'all done. Remember that song, who was it, Neil? Or was it Usher, and it's all because of you? Like, someone is saying, it's all because of you. That's why they're crying. Because they remember your face. They remember it clear as day. And they cannot stop fantasizing. Love on the brain. But you see, it's something here. Like, they're very religious. Or they grew up in a religious household. Okay? And adultery. Okay? Is not a thing. I feel like they cry because they feel that they have, uh, you know committed a sin in looking at you and gazing at you and also lusting over you because this individual has certainly lusted over you and desired you you're someone that has some type of energy over you you also have extreme beauty or some type of extreme attractiveness okay it goes hand in hand with your energy that you exude out so you naturally intrigue people where people are naturally mystified or mesmerized by you. But this individual, they have lived a very traditional life, okay? They have followed a very traditional role, and nothing wrong with that, no judgment toward them or anybody that follows that, okay? Because this is a, an experience in consciousness, right? Prime creator created itself and created this experience out of love, but also boredom. When we really get deep into the rabbit hole, we find out there was that one guy who talked about it and he went missing or he disappeared. Nobody knows where he went, um, but he wrote two books. He, I believe he was a Mexican man and he talked about how, um, well, it doesn't even matter. It's just the point is like everything that he was speaking about and alluding to, a lot of people got from it that, wow, God was basically bored and, you know, decided to create life to experience it through many different forms of energy and so this is their journey and there's no judgment to it but they took a very traditional role okay a very traditional role and now they're questioning they're questioning everything dirty offer so This individual is getting creative here, trying to figure out how they can get you to accept some type of offer. This is someone that is new. You you never dealt with this person. You may know who this is. You may know who I'm talking about, some of you. But you two have never dealt with each other. Yup, pro chakra blockage confirmation. Moving on, thank you, next, and drama starter, but they don't want to start any drama, so this is at a standstill, but somebody here, you, this individual has showed up in your dreams now. Threatening, talking SHIT, into you, damn, this individual cannot stop talking about you. Yeah, this individual found your social media or something. Creeping. Oh, no. Their wife or husband found out about this. This is bad. Y'all, this is bad. Their wife or husband found some ish. Let's get the tarot. Let's look into this. Cause... And somebody could... And that's why the threatening card, the wife or husband could have been threatening to do something. And this individual is acting on face. They're still following their routine all the while. This is what's going on. What does the future hold here? This individual is really intense. I'm getting that. They have like a dominant energy, a dominant. And, and that's where the dice comes in. Because these are all masculine. Base planets. King of Cups, hey man, they done fell in love with you when they crossed paths with you. That's what happened. Three of Swords, and they've been self pleasuring and daydreaming and wondering what it would be like to finally break that wall. You and this individual have never spoken. 
or if you did speak, it was brief. But you've never actually gone past anything. Like, not even anything casual. Like, I keep saying, like, I guess that's that awkwardness coming through. No, but it's almost this energy of the two of you have never really even conversed as a friend to friend type of thing. Like, you have never even done anything like that with this individual you have just if if there was any type of social interaction here it was brief but you know this is your read because you see this individual throughout your routine every now and then you cross paths right at the same grocery store or at the gym or at a bus station or at work okay but you guys always cross paths even if it's like, you don't see them for a few days or a few weeks, you know you're eventually going to see them. They could even be friends with someone that you know. There could be something here about an acquaintance that they actually get along with and they speak to a lot. So here we have Knight of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. This individual is definitely afraid to leave their marriage. At this point, their marriage is hanging on by a thread. What did the third party find? I heard photos. Ace of Cups. Yes, Spirit saying yes. Ace of Cups, Five of Swords. Who is this man, this woman on your phone? Why do you have their photos saved? What's going on? I hear this, you know, their wife, their husband. So what happened then? Ace of Cups, Five of Swords. I heard get out. Somebody could have been thrown out of the home. Yeah, King of Swords and Four of Swords. Oh, This individual had to sleep at, like, a friend's place, or they had to go back to the, to a family member's place. They could have gone to their mom's place or their dad's. I don't know. Their parents might not be together at this point, or their parents, one of them has passed. The Tower, Eight of Cups. It shows the marriage ending, y'all. It shows the marriage ending. Oh, my goodness. I don't know, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Like, but you know what? Higher fan and justice, it shows the marriage ending. Eight of Cups, the Tower, that's an ending, and a really bad one at that. Um, Was this a third party that this individual was married to? Was this a third party? Yes. So, look... I don't know if I should laugh or not, not because this is happening, but because, like, I feel y'all are oblivious. Like, y'all didn't even do anything. You were just going about your life. But these two are really about to divorce because of y'all. Like, if you are iconic, then I don't know what you are. Because, damn, Sagittarius, with the savagery. Oh, my goodness. Some people wake up and think, you know, you're the devil or something. This third party does at this point. They wake up and think, you know, you you destroyed a marriage. Look, the, the, they don't even want to show themselves. The card literally flipped face to hell. You see that? Like, they don't even want to show their face. They just want this to be done, over with, and to move on with their life. So this individual knows that they're going to separate from their husband or wife at this point. What photo? Like, I feel like this had to have been on social media. Like, they found your social media or something. Or they took photos of you when you were at the grocery store, at the gym. And then they were fantasizing. They were lusting after them. Oh, my goodness. With the magician and the three of swords and the hangman. So this individual has had to sleep at a friend's place. Their friend could be an Aquarius or something. But they've had to sleep on a couch or something. This is a mess. So what do you see as like the future between them and Sagittarius? Like what do you see happening? Business. The world. Some of you could be receiving an email from this individual. Sadness and woman. Give me more information, Spirit. 
pink diamond. Oh my goodness, Owl. Yeah, this is a merry person, y'all. This is someone with the serendipity and pink diamond. This is someone that, well, at this point was married. It looks like the divorce is going to go through. Dreams and soulmate. So this is like a astral soulmate. This is someone that through meditation, the two of you can like come together in your light body, in your soul, your spirit. It's something like that here. Like if you really focus on each other, even though the two of you aren't together like that, you focusing on each other, you're able to meet up really, really easily in the dream realm. But mm, there could be some intimate dreams here of you and this person. You could have had like an intimate dream of this person recently or a dream where the two of you kissed something of that nature something definitely involving touch some of you okay or you could have hugged each other you could have been like who is this man who is this woman and then you remember oh that's so and so that i see at the park when i go to walk my dog every day right like that type of energy angel the hidden so they could be a sagittarius like you love offer and crystal ball the future brings a surprise for some of you this individual does come in and make that love offer so what happens if they do make a love offer like give me a card here because this is like really intense a moan and happiness some of you are going to go on a date with this person others are going to have like intimacy with this individual it shows a lot happening here with y'all and this person. Like, it's still playing out. I feel like time will bring a surprise, Sagittarius, between you and this person. Yup, Seven of Swords. Something that you don't see coming. And I feel like Spirit wants to leave it that way. They want to shock you with this crystal ball, love offer, and the hidden angel. They want to surprise you guys. They don't want me to say too much about what's about to go down. You're about to have a really interesting love life. That's all I can say. I have to respect the spirits. I have to respect them. Okay? Sometimes we can't know everything that's going to happen in the future. Because then we would go out of our way to change it. Yes, we have free will. But it really is sometimes some things are destined to occur and no matter what we do with our free will we just can't change that because at the end of the day who's in control who's writing the script so yes we are we we have some control yes of course but at the end of the day who has most of the control who has really the final say the most high so that is your read that's what i have for you i hope you enjoyed this i wish you the best of luck and i wish you love and light take care